So uh, today we are going to continue the class on uh, the mean first passage time by uh, looking at the additive property of uh, this time. So I will recall uh, now what is the um, question we are going to uh, study. So let me remind you for the mean first passage time, MFPT. Uh, the mean first passage time is uh, uh, tau which is the expectation, it's a mean of tau, which is the expectation of the time it takes. Let's say when you have a domain, and you have a particle started at point x, and you look at the f what time it takes for the particle to exit at the boundary of the domain, knowing that you started, let's say, at position x. So we could, we, we found, um, the, we, we recall last time the equations for uh, tau of x, which is Laplacian u, for a pure uh, Brownian motion equals minus one where d is a diffusion coefficient and u let's say equals zero to the absorbing boundary so this was the formulation where this is u of x and it is associated with a stochastic equation x dot equals square root of 2 dw dot and the particle is absorbed at the boundary of the domain so and now what uh, precisely we are going uh, to look at today is the time it takes for a, a particle to escape and uh, more precisely what happens when the, um, there is a subdomains. So mm. this is the property of today which is the additive property of the mean first passage time. Additive property of the mean first passage time of the MFPT. So what is this exactly? So we are going to look at the following question. Suppose you start at a position X and we are going to decompose the mean first passage time as the mean first passage time to go from X to a subdomain, a boundary of a subdomain, let's call it sigma i, and then uh, we are going to see how it adds with the time it takes to go from sigma i to let's say a portion or the entire boundary of sigma a. So more precisely, we would like to show today that the, the time it takes to go from x, let's say, to uh, sigma a can be written at the time it takes to go from x to sigma i plus the time it takes to go from sigma i to sigma a. So this is the additive property that we would like to discuss now. Right, so basically if you want to, if you think in terms of trajectory, you need trajectory starting at x, it will first hit sigma, a, sigma i somewhere and then it has to continue and move uh, uh, sigma a uh, at a point and then we are, we are going to average over all trajectories. So to see this um, we are going to um, use the uh, uniqueness property of uh, the uh, elliptic, linear elliptic uh, partial differential equation, uh, equation of type star. Right, so um, let's see what is the time to go from x to sigma i, that is this mean first passage time here. By definition, it is solution of d Laplacian u equals um, minus 1. So let's call it uh, uh, u, let's say, sigma i. And this it has to uh, satisfy, it can satisfy u equals 0 on the boundary, but it satisfies this equation. So let's uh, um, now do the following, uh, let's go in, in the following way. Let's introduce a function phi of x which is, so let's call this u here, u sigma i, I'll call it also tau 
sigma i. So the principle of the method is to do this. Let's write phi of x, which is a time to go from sigma i of x plus the uh, integral of the green functions, which is a distribution of exit point on sigma i. I will define it in a second. Sigma i x of y multiply by uh, the time it takes to go from sigma i to sigma a. Let's write it maybe sigma i to sigma a like this. Starting from any point y on this surface dsy and integrate over sigma i. So I will define uh, what is uh, the function g in a second. But the method, so what is the method? The method consists in showing that phi here is solution is solution is solution of star and if we show this since there is a unique solution there is a unique solution of the because this is a classical elliptic PDE of um, and and basically you can use the maximum principle to show that then the only possibility is that phi equals to u and this is exactly uh, the star star equation for the additive properties of the mean first passage time so let me remind you now what is uh, precisely this uh, Green's function here j so the uh, Green's function by definition the green Green's function here j of x and y this is a t solution of j Laplacian j equals zero so this is I call it sigma i and j sigma i x and y equals to delta Dirac let's add point y where y belongs to sigma i and we have seen in previous classes that uh, this is exactly the, um, the, the interpretation of this is the distribution. This is a distribution of um, exit point from sigma i. So this is a distribution of exit point when, when the initial position of the trajectory is x to a point y on sigma i. All right, so uh, I think we are ready. First, let's show that uh, phi satisfies, so let's for the moment assume that d equals one, diffusion coefficient equals to one, doesn't change anything. And let's calculate the Laplacian of phi by definition this is equal to the Laplacian of tau uh, sigma i plus we have to integrate so we can use we can change the, the uh, we can derive under the the sign the, the the integration so this is Laplacian of j x y tau sigma a of y ds y so by definition this equals zero and this is exactly equal to minus one. So phi satisfy the uh, partial differential equation uh, we're interested in for uh, any point inside the domain um, x that's uh, the domain inside the domain um, where the boundary, the boundary of which is uh, sigma i, with boundary, with boundary sigma uh, sigma i, and now we need to uh, look at the uh, boundary condition. So what happened for x belonging to sigma i by definition? 
So what is phi of x equals to? So this is tau sigma i of x plus integration of the Green's function gxy tau or sigma a of y ds y d sigma uh, i. So by definition, at the point y, we know that it has to be equal to a delta direct at this point, right? So this is equal to what? So this is sigma i of x plus, and so the Green's function is delta Dirac tau of sigma a y, sigma a of x. So now, by definition, since tau is the mean first passage time to sigma i, this is equal to zero. This is the property that we haven't written before. So by definition, this is solution of tau sigma i equal zero, equal minus one. Uh, again, I am in the situation where the coefi diffusion coefficient equals 1. So this is exactly tau of sigma a of x. So we've shown that the function phi of x satisfy the partial differential equation, Laplacian uh, tau equals minus 1, and equals tau of uh, sigma a on the uh, boundary uh, tau of i. And so we know that uh, um, the, uh, by uniqueness of the partial differential equation, that tau of sigma a of x equals phi of x equals this phi of x. And this is by definition tau of sigma i plus the integral of j, x, and y tau of sigma a of y ds y and this is exactly the um, additive property of the mean first passage time so now let's go to the conclusion time it takes to go from x to sigma a equal the time it takes to go from x to sigma i plus the time it takes to go from sigma i to sigma a. And this uh, formula is important because actually what it does, it implicitly counts all the recursion, so this is now um, a remark. This counts all the recursion, that is, if you start at point x, you arrive to sigma a here, and this is sigma a. And here you can really go back in the domain and you start again before you hit here sigma a, and this can happen an infinite number of times, this recursion. So this is the recursion inside the domain sigma a. Uh, so this was remark one about the recursion and the second remark that uh, we may want to uh, discuss here is how we are going to see there is an interesting application in the analytic spines where if you uh, think about the particles and ion entering at position x the particle can move inside the head, find the small hole which is the entrance here of the neck. And then what happened, the particle enter into the neck and then it can return into the head and can do that an infinite number of time before escaping here. This is the, uh, the equivalent of uh, the sigma a and this is like here sigma i. And from this uh, I will refer to uh, the next classes we calculated from this the uh, residence time residence time of a particle of a Brownian particle uh, actually it can be any stochastic particle any Brownian particle inside the neck
the head, the, the, the neck plus head of a spine. All right, so I will refer to the next classes for the uh, exact uh, calculation. All right, so I think um, we are done for this uh, additive property of the mean first passage time.